Hello everybody, Lucas here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you exactly step by step how to import meshes from a website into Roblox Studio. It's so useful to know how to do this, so stick around until the end of the video to know exactly how to correctly import models and meshes from external websites into Roblox Studio. Before we get into the video though, I need to show you guys something very, very sad, very disappointing, and very, very bad for the environment, for humanity, and anything that comes with it. I finally figured out how my analytics work, and I realized that only 2.3% of people watching are actually subscribed. I don't know what you're doing if you're not subscribed, you're missing out on so much. Subscribe now, be part of the journey, unsubscribe whenever you want, but I guarantee you, you will not unsubscribe because the content coming your way is just going to be so, so, so top tier. Anyways, y'all, without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So first step, first thing, yabba dabba do, you have to click, right click on your mouse anywhere around the base plate. Hold on, let me take that off, my bad. Click insert object, then search in the object, search mesh part, easy as that. You insert a mesh part so you can resize it. you can do anything you want with it change color I don't mind don't even care so for now we're gonna leave it here and now we're gonna go to website to basically scavenge around for models that we're interested in so the first website I would really suggest to you would be this website here it's called p3dm.ru I think it's some Russian website but they have amazingly good models amazing meshes amazing things you can import to your game to make it look 10 times better link will be in the description once you once you get on the home page click on three models here here on the top left and then once you're here you will have lists and lists and pages of just free models that you can import into your game roblox game for now we're just gonna go into architecture um, and say I like this model here then I'll just open it in another page and it's so easy look you can only like once you open the page you can already download the file from that page so I'm gonna go ahead and download the file you will have to wait 15 seconds for it to load don't know why it does that but um, price for it's price to pay for uh, the website's excellence I guess you can say all right, so anyways, now it's done loading. You would see this. It's all in Russian, so or Ukrainian. I have no idea, but um, it's pretty easy to understand. Once you're here, click on the download button, and you will get a uh, zip file. Sometimes you can get a RAR file or a 7Z file. In that case, just search up RAR extractor online go to the first link like for example extract.me choose your file and then just from there i guess figure out what to do but in most cases it will come with it will come with a zip folder all right so once we open the folder you'll see here now we have the model this is the model because it has this little cubic thing cubic image on the page thing and then what is really annoying is that we have all of these these browser things and these are basically the textures so usually the first one would be the main like the main texture and the only texture you'd have to put in so basically roblox when you upload a texture to roblox you roblox only accepts png jpeg and usual image files so for that if you get a weird image file just go to image converter search up image converter on google and just find the first one or the one that you prefer and basically just put in the file that you want converted all right so i'm going to take my folder here and then drop the texture into into uh this folder into this file open up the file i'll press start by the way you guys all links to all the tools used in this video will be put in the description including this website which i love using and then from there you can download the uh the texture textures will sometimes look like this if it looks like this and it's normal and you've done something right um so congrats to you and once you've done that go to roblox the roblox page 
click on create right here then click here on decals then once you're here click choose file select your decal that um, select the texture name it something as if you want name it whatever you want doesn't really matter doesn't really matter just make sure it's not a long name with numbers and signs or, or else might be uh, content deleted by Roblox which is really annoying anyways once you've done that publish it copy the link of the texture paste in the link the texture link into the texture ID of the of the mesh so click on the mesh go to properties and then you should find texture ID somewhere on the, like close to the top paste in the texture all right and then once you've done that the last and final step is to import the actual mesh the actual object so for, to do that where it says mesh id click on the folder right here and basically drag in the model that you want into the folder and open it so it's going to say sometimes it's going to give you your mesh contains location data would you like to move your mesh to the given location this means if you put no then your mesh will stay at the same place uh, as it as, as it is and if you click yes it would take it to some random place I'm not sure how really how it works but I honestly I would just suggest clicking no it doesn't really make a change anything it's just if you click yes it'll just spawn somewhere random around the map all right so once you've done that and that's basically all so right now that took us like what five minutes to import not even like five minutes to import a beautiful mesh which could have taken us probably like 30 minutes or maybe an hour to even make this on Roblox Studio with our own models. And it would have even l turned out to look even worse. I mean, this is like the best alternative to making, to inserting models into your game in Roblox Studio. Yeah. So anyways, guys, I couldn't thank you enough for watching this video. If you liked, leave a like on the video so that it reaches more people that they access this knowledge. This is probably like the most sacred knowledge they can ever run into into their entire life. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.